Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game. This is uh, part one. So yeah, you're going to need to go to uh, unity.com slash download and get Unity Hub if you don't have it already. So yeah. Next, go to where you downloaded it and then run the Unity Hub setup exe my screen will go blank but just click yes on the pop-up so just click install and click finish so once you install unity hub and log in it might give you a pop-up like this it's, if it says unity 6 I'd say skip because unity 6 is for like a bit more advanced so I'd say if you're beginning uh, download something like unity 2022 or 2021 so for this tutorial I'm gonna get 2022 make sure you tick this one which is very important because it's the code editor and tick this one if you want to be able to build to Android which is what the quest 2 free and 3s and pro users so next click continue continue install and then wait for it to install Oh yeah, if you get a pop-up saying Windows Console Host, just click yes. So I don't know why it opened in my second monitor, but when you get the Visual Studio installer, click continue, and then scroll down, click .NET, wait, don't click .NET, click Unity, and then install. Alright, so once Visual Studio is done, just click skip this for now. Choose a what theme for this series. I'm gonna choose blue. Because so I've actually not used blue before and I kinda wanna know what it looks like. And then just close. And then that should be the install complete. So once the install is complete, go to a new project, select the editor version, and then just call the project to call the project whatever your game name is for this I'm just gonna call it tutorial game then create a new project and just click allow access if it pops up with this ah 
but once this loads, delete main camera, create a new cube, set it X, Y, and Z to zero. Uh, and then resize it to your liking. And then go onto your web browser. Uh, go to the GitHub link in the description. And then download raw file. And then don't import it yet because we still need to import XR. So go into player settings, uh, XR plugin management, and click install. And just wait for that to install. And then on the monitor, click open XR. And then just click yes. And then click on the Android icon and do the same thing. And then just click fix. And then go into OpenXR. Click on the monitor, click multipass, click on the Android icon and click multipass, then go back onto the monitor and do Oculus Quest Touch Pro Control and then do the same here. Like Oculus Touch Sorry. Oculus Touch Controller Profile. And then go into build settings, click on Android, click switch platform. And then click and then click A ASTC and then Go into Package Manager, click Add from Git URL, do com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit and just wait for it to install.
and then once you installed it you can now import the uh, thing by going into where you downloaded it and then Gorilla Locomotion and then unclick on sample scene and then click import and then go into resources Gorilla Prefabs and then drag in, drag in Gorilla Rig and then put it in there and then go into play mode and then to test it you don't need to go into VR but you can go under Gorilla Rig Gorilla Player and then select one of the controllers and then yeah And yeah, so the final thing of this video, go into the left hand and right hand controller, click add component, do sphere collider, set the radius to 0 0.06, to turn it to is trigger, go into tags, add tag, hand tag, and then click on both of those and then add the hand tag and then also unpack completely and then on gorilla player add the tag of player so yeah that's that's all for this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to like and subscribe uh, you can save by even pressing ctrl s or going to file and then save and yeah <coughs> like and subscribe <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna